Rwanda is one of the fastest growing economies in Africa, with Kigali being one of the safest cities in the world. 28 years ago, this country suffered one of the worst tragedies, the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. Despite tremendous social economic progress over the last two decades, Rwanda is still facing a challenge of rebuilding its very fabric of society. A significant proportion of the Rwandan population lives with various mental health issues stemming from the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. To support the government of Rwanda's efforts in building sustainable peace, Interpeace works with the Ministry of National Unity and Civic Engagement and local partners to implement the Societal Trauma Healing Program to reinforce community capacity for social cohesion and reconciliation. This program addresses mental health, social cohesion, and livelihood to increase general well-being in various districts across the country. Through social therapy, the program creates safe spaces for dialogue and collective healing among genocide survivors and perpetrators. An approach known as Vurangvure, loosely translated to Heal Me, I Heal You. Participants are guided through a process of sharing their memories, past and present experiences, feelings, and each of them make a personal decision on how to move forward in terms of interpersonal and intra-community relations. With resilience-oriented therapy, Interpeace works with trained psychologists to provide a safe space to individuals in a group setting for them to understand their trauma and psychological distresses. Access to mental health care services and public awareness are among Rwanda's biggest challenges. Interpeace has worked with government institutions, including the Ministry of Health, to launch various initiatives, such as the Mental Health Mobile Clinic, to bridge the gap. Interpeace also works to strengthen the capacity of local professionals and health facilities through training and provision of various equipment. Through multifamily healing groups, Interpeace and its local partners bring together genocide survivors, perpetrators and their young adult children to create an open dialogue to mitigate intergenerational transmission of genocide legacies. The Collaborative Livelihood Protocol complements and ensures the sustainability of the healing and social cohesion achieved through the social therapy, resilience-oriented therapy, as well as multifamily healing therapy. Those who graduated from healing dialogues have the option to join co-live initiatives that often take form of cooperatives and are supported with startup capital to engage in small income generating activities. Over the next five years, Rwanda will release close to 28,000 prisoners who were convicted of crimes related to the genocide. The program partners with Rwanda Correctional Service work to rehabilitate and reintegrate prisoners into the society. Supported by the European Union, the program started as a pilot in Bujesera district in October 2020. For the past 18 months, the program has supported more than 800 people in the district of Bujesera alone. The Swedish Minister of International Development Cooperation, Matilda Ernkranz, 
was moved by how the program has helped Rwandans to restore their social bonds that had been torn apart by the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. I'm convinced that the program uh, fills an important role in overcoming uh, the wounds from the past and also that you can look upon a brighter future. And I'm proud that we can give a little bit something to support uh, Rwanda in its reconciliation process uh, to sustain peace and reconciliation. Due to its innovative approach and the tremendous results achieved, it was scaled up to five more districts with the support from the Swedish International Development Corporation Agency, targeting to reach more than 20,000 people. Impressed by the resilience of communities in Wujesera, the High Representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy Vice President, Joseph Borrell, encouraged Rwandans to continue the healing journey that they have started. This gathering is the most extraordinary human experience I have lived. I can only encourage you to continue on this way. I encourage you to continue to build peace with the neighbors, starting with the one with whom you share a common history of cruelty and pain with whom you have to build your future.